Hello dentists, how are you today? Today we're going to talk about microdontia. Before we start our topic, I want you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. So let's know what is microdontia. When the teeth, when the te all the teeth are small, we call it generalized microdontia. And when some certain teeth are small, okay, we call it localized uh, microdontia. Like for example, here we have the lateral is smaller than the central incisor. So we call it localized in certain teeth. So this is localized microdontia and this is generalized microdontia because all the teeth are small. Certain here localized because certain teeth are small. So let's know what is microdontia. So when the to any tooth that is smaller than normal, we call it microdontia. Um, and it affects one or two teeth, but it can be generalized in syndromes with hypodontia. It could be all teeth and in uh, children who have undergone radio and chemotherapy so children also undergoing radiotherapy or chemotherapy may have uh, microdontia microdontia is a condition uh, let's revise again it's uh, when one or two teeth appear smaller than normal and in the generalized all teeth are low involved we call it generalized microdontia in the case of localized only few teeth are involved are smaller than normal the most common teeth that are affected are the lateral, upper lateral incisor and the third molars. So this is the effect, these are the affected teeth, upper, upper lateral incisors and third molars, as we saw it before. Microdontia could be generalized microdontia and may occur in the pituitary dwarfism in, case, in cases where uh, patients are short okay, and syndromes with hypodontia. Ge the relative generalized will uh, the uh, form will occur in orthodontic uh, skeletal uh, base tooth size difference and the uh, localized uh, true localized microdontia may occur in uh, after radiotherapy or chemotherapy incidence so it occurs uh, its incidence uh, is less than 0.5% in primary dentition and 2% in permanent dentition and it's more common in females okay it's more common in females so less than 0.5% in primary dentition and 2% in permanent dentition and they are found more in females management what can we do in such case so when a patient comes with small so small teeth what should we do in the clinic we can uh, uh, advise the patient to, to make a composite okay we can build up the tooth okay with composite resin or porcelain and uh, the means uh, this, uh, this is according to it depends on the means you distill with the, at the gingival margin so here this is the gingival margin this it depends on this width okay the building up we will can you see we can build all this part here also either by uh, making a crown okay or uh, porcelain or a composite we can build it with composite okay so uh, 